the lord is mighty psalms chapter 29 verses 1 to 2 say give unto the lord o ye mighty give unto the lord glory and strength give unto the lord the glory due unto his name worship the lord in the beauty of holiness david found grace in the sight of the lord and calls mighty men of valor to come unto the lord and give glory due unto his name and to worship him in the beauty of his holiness God spoke to his servants in different ways in different times sometimes in thunder and sometimes in small still voice he spoke from the burning bush to Moses his servant he spoke from the mercy seat to the high priest in the tabernacle and in small still voice to Elijah the prophet God spoke by the mouth of prophets namely Jeremiah Isaiah and many more and in the last days he spoke through his one and only son Lord Jesus Christ The Lord's voice was upon the waters his glory was in the thunders and his voice was powerful King David says the Lord's voice and his word were mightier than any sword or any other weaponry used by humans to win a battle There are many incidences in the word of God which show that God's word was enough to defeat his enemies His word is two edged sword and his right arm is mightier than any weapon men may use. Psalms chapter 98 verse 1 says, O sing unto the Lord a new song for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Who can control or direct the thunders, storms and winds from heaven except for the Lord himself who causes them at his will and hurls them with his voice at his command his voice was enough to rattle the strong and elegant cedar trees of Lebanon and to make Mount Hermon to dance like a young unicorn He is mightier than mighty kings he gave strength to his servant to kill og king of bashan and caused small stone from the sling of david his servant to bring down the giant goliath to earth and to kill him the lord shook the wilderness of kadesh and his voice for divided the flames of fire the lord is the creator and he is the king over all creation No man can control the natural calamities except face them with sorrow and reconstruct their damaged properties when God brings them on his enemies to punish. The Lord causes vapors to rise and ascend from the ends of the earth and brings rain from his treasuries without any restraint onto the earth where his people honor him. God helps those who seek his help in times of trouble. He never forsakes his people nor will he fail them but will always go before them ever infusing courage and confidence in them to fight the evil. When Jehoshaphat king of Judah the son of Asa was afraid as the children of Moab the children of Ammon and Ammonites went against him in battle. Jehoshaphat went and stood in the house of the Lord and cried to the Lord saying O Lord God of our fathers art now thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen and in thine hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee art now thou our god who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people israel and gavest it to the seed of abraham thy friend forever reference second chronicles chapter 20 verses 5 to 7 the spirit of the lord came upon jehaziel a levite a descendant of the sons of asaph and he said Thus saith the Lord unto you be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but God's The Levite said to Jehoshaphat that he does not need to fight the battle but stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Jehoshaphat bowed his head and the entire congregation of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord and worshiped him Jehoshaphat said to all of them to believe in the Lord and then appointed singers unto the Lord and they went forth before the army singing praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever 
when they sang praises to the lord he smote the children of ammon moab and all those who came against the jehoshaphat king of judah the lord humbled the amorites moabites and ammonites the enemies of david compare second chronicles chapter 20 verses 1 to 22 psalms chapter 136 verses 1 to 3 say give thanks to the lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to god god of gods for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to the lord of lords for his steadfast love endures forever this message is written and brought to you by leslie john